by the end of this week, the regular season will be more than 20% over. I don't like that. Welcome back to Brave Birds DFS. If you don't know by now, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the likes. I try to read all your comments and respond to your comments. The channel's small, the channel's new, so I can do that at this point. One of the comments people were talking about their worst almost wins. We've all been there. It is a bad feeling. And the crazy thing about it is when you have an almost win, you kind of get to the point where you kind of don't like the person in real life, the player in real life, but then you tell yourself, okay, this is just fantasy. It's not their fault. Long and short of it for me, it was the first game of the 2020 season. The Texans were playing the Chiefs back then. People thought the Texans were going to be good and the Chiefs were already good. Perfect matchup. But the Chiefs were molly whopping the Texans, but the Chiefs did not quit playing. They didn't care. So with two minutes and 34 seconds left, I was in first place. I just needed the Chiefs to stop playing like the Chiefs for two minutes and 34 seconds. They didn't do it. So instead of putting my down payment on a rocket ship trip with your boy Elon Musk, I came in like second or third place and bought a bunch of sushi for my family. So we've all been there. All right, let's bump in. Sorry, let's jump in uh, to this uh, to the slate buster. So what is a slate buster? So it isn't the obvious pick. I'm not going to tell you that Josh Allen or, you know, McCaffrey are amazing, but uh, I'm also not going to be kind of insane. Sometime in my showdown videos, I give you some pretty wild picks because you're going to need those kind of picks sometimes to win those contests. What I'm going to do with a slate buster, I'm going to get you give you those players that are kind of in the middle that you were kind of on the fence about or you might not have thought about and other people might not have thought about, but you put them in your lineup along with those McCaffrey's and those Josh Allen's and maybe some of your own crazy plays and then you bust or break the slate wide open. All right, so we're going to start with quarterbacks. And how I do it, I give you two quarterbacks, two running backs, two wide receivers, two tight ends, and two defenses. So the first quarterback I'm giving you is a, I'm bringing back a slate buster, and that is Anthony Richardson. He was having a slate buster of a game, like I told you all, and then he got a concussion. So this game right here wasn't even a full game, and he was up to 17.74 points. He's clear concussion protocols. He's back. He's a slate buster because look at his price. He is a uh, he's at about 6,700, much lower than Allen 8,200. And uh, he, theoretically, he has a tough matchup, but I'm not worried about that. The other slate buster I have is Kirk Cousins, and I know you're thinking the Vikings. They're not good, and it's crazy. You know, Kirk Cousins in real life isn't the best, but. In fantasy, he is the number one player in DFS and regular fantasy football. So he is definitely a slate buster. I mean, the Vikings, they just, they can't go to 0-4, can they? They can't lose to the Panthers, can they? So with all of those things in mind, I just feel like Kirk Cousins is one of those slate busters. All right, let's move to running backs. And I, t I called it last week. I didn't know it was going to be 70 points, but I said Mostert was definitely a slate buster. I didn't know the Dolphins were going to go crazy and score 70 points. I'm not going to pick him this week, but obviously he is a good pick. The slate buster that I'm picking is Williams. He was on the field for nearly all the snaps last game, and no other running back on the Rams got a touch. So even though he didn't take advantage of it per se, if you're on the field and have no competition in 2023, old school bell cow style, and you're only 6,000, we gotta make you a slate buster. This next slate buster right below him at 5,900, and I know you're like, Walter, Connors, this fragile injured person is going up against the 49ers. They're gonna get out scripted, yada, 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 all those things. But if you have watched the Cardinals this year, they have played every team close and actually beat the Cowboys. So the Arizona Cardinals aren't afraid of anyone. 
And if he doesn't happen to twist his toe on the first play of the game, even though he's playing the 49ers, because we thought the Cowboys, well, some people thought the Cowboys were the best team in football, and the Cardinals beat them. And we can see that Connors has had all good games, all three games. So it's really just like, is he going to have some kind of freak injury? So I definitely like Connors as a slate buster. Let's move on to wide receiver. And our first slate buster is going to be, let me scroll down. We have Michael Evans. If you watch, first of all, he has targets of 10, 8, and 10. And his worst game this year is 17 points. Let me tell you, the way Baker Mayfield is in love with Mike Evans, that could have easily been 32 or 37 again. Baker Mayfield has a, I don't know, some kind of string attached to, to Mike to Mike Evans. So trust me, he is going to get the targets and he is going, if not this game, he's going to always be someone that is in the slate buster conversation and he's only 7,000. Our other slate buster is going to kind of surprise you all, but it's because you haven't been paying attention and I don't blame you. I don't even think their moms are paying attention to him, but he's on the Panthers. Yes. So Thielen, we knew him for the Vikings. He was really good. And then he got traded to the Panthers and we all thought he retired and became a subway, you know, salesperson. But look at these games and it's, he's just been heating up. We thought he was injured. We thought he was done. Two targets, nine targets, 14 targets last game 34 fantasy points 20 fantasy points and he's 4500 so definitely someone who can bust the slate wide open all right let's look at tight ends and once again we have a tight end that just keeps doing his thing where's he at here you go we have hunter henry so look at his targets, six, seven, five. So he has consistent targets. Uh, his targets didn't amount to much last game. They had a horrible game, but you can see the first two games, he had 17 and 16 points. He's 4,300. Uh, they're gonna be playing Dallas. So the thought process is that they'll be chasing and trying to catch up. So they won't go to a run heavy kind of day. All right, our next slate buster is very, very affordable. We gotta go way down here to uh to par him so it's no doubt you can see here it's no doubt that uh he's overtaken i don't care what the depth chart says you know everett um as far as his connection his connection with uh the quarterback so herbert so you can see three two and two targets but he is a red zone monster when he gets targeted he scores a touchdown now the flip side of that we can see in week two is that if he doesn't get a touchdown He's probably going to bomb your lineup, but at 2,800, he's someone you throw into a lineup or two. And finally, let's look at defenses. So first we're gonna look kind of obvious, but they are actually the fourth best defense according to uh, DraftKings, Steelers versus Houston. And I would have been even more confident before I saw how Houston played last week, but the Steelers, four interceptions, four defensive fumble recoveries, two defensive touchdowns, 13 sacks. Definitely a slate buster. And if you want to save some salary, a surprise uh, slate buster are the Buccaneers. Uh, at this point, we're assuming Jameis Winston is going to be the quarterback. Maybe Carr will make a you know, recovery, even if he does, Carr wasn't that amazing the first three games as any Saints fan. Um, but you can see the Bucks have five interceptions, two defensive fumble recoveries, nine sacks, one defensive touchdown. But if you remember Winston, I think he led the league in touchdowns and interceptions when he was a starter. He tries some dangerous throws and he's going to get picked off if he's the starter. And if it's Carr, Carr has not impressed either. So I think Bucks, the Bucks are a very sneaky slate buster. So that's all I have for you today. Go out there and win that guap and I'll talk to you next time. All right, look here. I, I don't want to beg. I mean, I will beg, but you know, just be polite and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you next time.